In this video, let's talk about the Rolex market and what will happen to it in the next recession. If you don't want to stay for the whole video, um, my general consensus is that not much will happen to the Rolex market. Um, however, we should dig deeper into this topic. So first, it depends which market we're talking about, uh, pre-owned or um, the retail market. So in the pre-owned market, I see that there is going to be an influx of models incoming to the uh, pre-owned dealers, uh, specifically the less desirable models, so Datejust, Oyster Perpetuals, and even precious metal models. Um, and the reason being is uh, you have to understand how people behave in recessions and uh, consumer behaviors. So a lot of people are going to be offloading watches in order to pay their bills or keep their businesses afloat. Um, and some people will even be selling watches in order to take the money and invest in a, in a, um, you know, a down market. And so uh, there will be an influx of watches coming in to pre-owned markets. Um, however, the retail market uh, if anything, prices will actually go up in the retail market as they have done in every single recession. So I can demonstrate with this one graph here. This is the Rolex Daytona uh, retail versus pre-owned market price. Uh, if we look at 2007, sorry, 2008, 2009, um, we can see that prices for the retail market, so that's the brown line, they actually increased. Um, so 13.3% uh, in 2008 and then 4.4% in 2009. And then we also look at the pre-owned market and we see that prices actually flattened. So um, having said that, you may find deals for less desirable models in the pre-owned market. Um, however, it's not going to be like 2008 where there's going to be uh, Submariners and Datejust for four or five thousand dollars. Uh, and I think that's because they just weren't as desirable back then as they are today. So it's going to be a different kind of recession um, for Rolex uh, because Rolex is so de so desired nowadays. So as for the retail, I think the list will still exist. Uh, the list might grow uh, at a slower rate, but there will definitely be a list. And so in summary, I think in the pre-owned market, prices will come down a little bit because an oversupply of watches will come in. Uh, however, I don't think it's going to be worth it enough for you to try and time the market, to try and get a, a stellar price, like half off or something uh, off a professional model. So you, you definitely might get deals, uh, but I think there's deals out there right now. If you go to a pre-owned market, a pre-owned uh, watch dealer, they, they do, de do deals. Um, I know my local dealer here, um, They'll do cash deals and, and charge no tax and take some off the top as well. So um, have a look out for that in the next recession. I don't know when that will be. That's kind of my sentiment. Mm -hmm.